Good evening and assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen to another episode of our F1 2019 career mode this time at Spielberg in Austria. So without further ado let's get right underway for qualifying. Again this is a track I have a lot of familiarity with so expecting this to be good. Use as much track as possible, break at about 90 meters. We do run pretty wide but actually that costs us more time than we gain if we had just braked a little bit earlier and actually clipped the apex. But Making our way up the hill, get ready to spot your braking point again, about 80 meters, we pull the car back over to the left before we turn in, dropping it down to first and then a short shift up to second to maximize your run now down this second straight or third straight, break at about 80 meters so that you can hold it nice and tight at the apex, dropping it down to second, short shifting up into fourth and now get ready for turn five, using up all of the curb. We run a little bit wide at the apex, fifth gear, and we you can already see we are purple. Fifth gear through the left hand, use all of the curb through the right, and now just two corners remaining, and you can already see the gap on the minimap between us and our teammate. Using all the curb, dropping it down into sixth, using as much track as physically possible, down into fourth through the final corner. We do run wide, but we are on regular corner cutting penalty, so it's all good, and a massive massive result as we take pole heading into the race again not too much pressure on us really um, it feels like it's the first time we've been on pole in a very long time and off the start we get a good initial getaway but it's that second phase that we re that really costs us down the in the middle of a two into turn one and we get the job done up into first place and we can see Verstappen is on us but then there's a big gap to our teammate Valtteri Bottas. Down into first, we clip the apex, short shift up into second, third, to minimize that wheel spin. And as I mentioned, I'm really, really comfortable here at Austria. Again, had Valence League a few weeks ago. So I've done so much practice and I just feel like I know this track inside out. One of my strongest tracks on the calendar, um, followed by the likes of Silverstone and uh, maybe Russia as well. Um, also, the other good thing about Austria is the default setup that you get given is actually pretty similar to the race setup, um, to the actual setup you want to use. So, in qualifying, we got a 105.7, um, which, you know, in Valence League qualifying, I, I didn't get much quicker than that, and that was, you know, over many, many laps. So, with a setup. So, without a setup, one lap all of a sudden, and we messed up turn one as well on our one shot it's um it's quite pleasing to know that we can be straight on the pace here at the spielberg um just fiddling with our ers turning it up into rich for the straight and now dropping our ers down to zero as we make our way into the hairpin dropping it down to first again practically perfect on the apex and then short shifting it up through the gears to minimize that wheel spin as it's so so easy to do and then just get ready for this right hander break early get it onto the curb and then feed the power in short shift up to minimize wheel spin and with you know we just feel so confident here um just able to push all of the track limits we have a bit of a moment as when you ride too much of that curb it can cost you quite significantly so you do have to be careful um how much curb you ride it through the left hander of turn five um, again, just fiddling with ERS, dropping it down into 6th gear. We run a bit wide again as we drop it down into 4th through the final corner. Again, it's regular corner cuts, so we can abuse those track limits just a little bit. And a 106.7 is pretty good so far, but we're just going to look to constantly improve upon that. And we get turn 1 really spot on. That's the kind of exit you want. You never drop down to 3rd gear if you're going for a hot lap. You keep it in fourth, you run out to the edge of the curb, but you never go past that kind of yellow thing on the outside as it really unsettles the car. And um, yeah, that was a really good run. But again, through turn three, all very clean. And now I run into turn four once again, we're gonna break nice and early. Actually, we do it about 80 towards 70, so a bit later than usual, but we pull it onto the apex regardless as fiddling around with our ERS once again. Honestly, if you can get the hang of using manual ERS and fiddling around with all of that stuff it is so helpful. It will gain you, you know, over the likes of a 50% race, it'll probably gain you over 10 seconds. Um, actually, maybe that's an exaggeration. I don't know. But it is really big being able to switch as we take too much curb and it ends us shunting us a little bit wide through the penultimate corner. All good through the final corner. Once again, we improve. Oh, no, we don't because of that mistake. 
and we're just a little bit slow. But yeah, um, if you can get it right, as once again we get a really good run through turn one. But if you do get used to ERS, you know, knocking it up into overtake or um, high on the straights and then back down to none for the corners as I do here. Honestly, it is so useful and you'll find that, you know, you're knocking it up into overtake on the straight and half the race in just by doing this, you're still on like 90% ERS, sometimes even more. So it's, it is is super, super OP and uh, I definitely recommend taking the time to practice doing that. Same thing can be said, you know, switching from standard to rich um, on long straights um, with this because I've just got so much fuel, I've just kept it in rich the whole time. We do exceed track limits, just using up too much of the track on the entry into the left-hander. But look at the gap on the minimap that we have to the car behind. And it's... I, I know I said a last race that, um, you know, I need to turn up the difficulty. Unfortunately, I've already recorded the Silverstone race. Um, however, Silverstone is a much closer race than this one. I, that, that's, that's a little spoiler I'm going to give. Is Silverstone is a very... Hotly contested race, so stay tuned for that. But after Silverstone, when we go to Hungary, I'm going to look to turn things up. But we are on our final lap, and I'm going to push just a little bit on this lap to try to get that perfect lap. And as you can see, I don't short shift quite early enough. Just too much power coming on, and then I end up losing the back end. We're into overtake, down to 10% ERS. We're going to drop it down to none as we break nice and late. Try to get a nice apex, nice and late. Back on the power, short shifting up. Knock it up into high, and... We're going to drop it back down into none for the double left hand. It's the reverse Lesmos, as some people like to call them. As we make our way down the hill, we're just a little bit shy of that perfect time. As we did abuse the track limits a little bit on that last lap. Back up into high. This will take us all the way to the end. Drop it down into sixth. You don't need to go up into eighth before that final corner. And now down to fourth. Use as much of the track as possible. And an almost perfect line up into hot lap and across the line. And we do improve... And, well, Jeff is completely ecstatic. We pulled out some kind of ridiculous gap over Verstappen over those 10 laps. So that just kind of shows the pace that we have at these tracks that we're familiar with, that we enjoy. 12 seconds in five laps, over two seconds a lap, three seconds a lap to Bottas. And look at the consistency as well that we're pulling out all of our times within two tenths of each other and... That one time it wasn't, it was because of a bit of a mistake into the penultimate corner. Championship, we are still leading by an absolutely massive amount. So, um, yeah, heading into Silverstone, things are looking good. But as I mentioned, it's a very exciting race. On that note, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. And until then, stay milky and assalamu alaikum.